what's up my youtube friends how y'all doing i hope y'all all having a blessed day welcome or welcome back to my channel y'all thank y'all so much for tuning in if you are new here my name is momo i love to do nails anything that's nail related i love to do and those are the type of videos you like to watch then guess what honey you are in the right channel so please do me that favor right and hit that notification bell no first subscribe right and hit that notification bell on to also like that you get notified every time i upload these videos you like to watch and become my youtube friend because i would love to have you here so with that being said y'all let's get right into this video so let's get right into this video those were all the products that i'm going to be using in today's video y'all i'm also going to use this dehydrator and rubber base from lgm pro i rarely use this stuff y'all i don't know why i decided to use it in today's video but i decided to use it in today's video right there i already had the rubber base on i applied the dehydrator first and then i went in with the rubber base cured the rubber base for 60 seconds and then now i'm going in with the peel off base coat that i got from amazon it's called muron or something like that i'll leave the link in the description box below if y'all want to be interested in what it is or whatever the case may be so um after when i applied this peel off base i'm applying this peel off peel off base coat on top of the rubber base okay so when i'm applying this peel off base coat on top of my the rubber base i'm also adhering the nail tips right along with the peel off base coat if that makes sense right here you can see what i'm actually doing just applying the tip right on top of the peel off base coat and curing it <gasps> no the fuck i did it no the hell i did it yeah y'all my dumb ass there was a fly bothering me and instead of me flagging the fly away from around my face i was trying i I blew at it and it blew the damn dry flowers. <laughs> oh my lord. Anyway, this I'm going to use JC Beauty Concept Monomer in today's video. Um, and also Beauty Innovation Opercrat Nude. And also this Milky Way Foil from Mystic Acrylic. Y'all, I am so upset because I wanted to use that Milky Way Foil Acrylic from Mystic Acrylic onto the whole nail onto two nails or at least one nail and make that like the accent nail so yeah and i forgot to totally use that on one whole nail because if you don't know that if you didn't watch my last flower nail video that i did <laughs> i'll i'll leave it up here in the car so y'all can go check it out well this is the recreation of that last nail neon color flower nail video that i did y'all i did not like how that flower nail set came out so i'm just recreating it over again but this time i'm using some real dry flowers and i'm also switching some you know the design around a little bit and stuff like that with the other design that i did i used um transfer foil and and a, and a pink nude that it really did to me it really didn't look right to the set so that's why i said that i wanted to recreate that set over and yeah so that's what i'm doing y'all i am recreating this set and this nude right here that i'm using in today's video would have been perfect if i would have used this type of nude when i did that other flower nail set <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what the flower nail set that i'm talking about y'all i'll leave the link in the description box below so like that y'all can go check it out and let me know what your thoughts what did, what do you think about that nail set y'all it's okay i just don't like how i use that pink to ombre the not the nails up the pink acrylic that i used on that video to ombre the nails out y'all i just didn't like it um it made it look like more like a milky bath look instead of a bit of a you know neon flower look vibe you know what i mean so yeah so um that's why like i said i'm recreating it and this time i'm not using the transfer for you y'all i am using some you know real dry flowers and yeah and like i said and i'm switching you know some things around instead of me using the flaky foil that i used on the last um nail video I, this time I'm going to use some gold little gold butterfly embellishments to make up for the flaky gold foils that I used in the other video. Oh my god, y'all. I'm probably all confusing 
oh my god i am sorry if i am confusing y'all or y'all don't understand the words that are coming out of my mouth <laughs> Uh, my bad if y'all like i always say this y'all if you're new to my channel i am so sorry that i'm not explaining things very well but yeah please bear with me and you'll you'll get to know me and you'll and you'll get you'll get my vibe and what i'm you know how i talk and all that good stuff okay <laughs> so right now right here y'all i am using this milky way foil y'all this is a you know a milky you know acrylic and it has these nice little flaky foils in it y'all and it also glows in the dark i'm mad that i forgot it also glowed in the dark and i didn't take pictures of it glowing in the, in the dark so i'm just applying this acrylic around the smile line or the nail bed area however you call it that you know that part right there that i did with the nude color I'm just applying just a, you know a little bit of that Milky Way foil around that just to give it like a little pop to these nails just to you know just to put some type of glitter acrylic in them. I could have brought it you know I could have put that acrylic onto the whole nail and then also apply the you know dry flowers on top of it. I could have did it that way too but I wanted like a more of a you know of a glass look if that makes sense yeah so that's why i did it this way uh, i did two nails like that two the way you see me do this nail y'all i did two nails like that and then the other two nails i did it of a marble ombre look so i did use this milky way a little bit more on the other two nails trying to make or try to do a marble so yeah anyway y'all so right here i'm just decorating the nails and all that good stuff i don't want to talk y'all here too much but this video is long y'all so um at the end i was i'm gonna see if i sneak in a clip of me recreating actually recreating the nail set that i did the last time the one that i was talking about earlier actually using the same exact things that i used on that nail set over again but showing y'all how differently i would have used it if i would have did it the way i wanted to do it in the first place i hope I, oh my god i hope y'all get what i'm trying to say because i did one nail y'all i took my practice finger and i recreated that set i did it the same exact way but i you know i did it the way I was supposed to do it in the first place if y'all get what i'm trying to say because like i said the way i did that flower set the first flower set um i did not like how it came out because of the way i did the ombre so yeah so in that clip i'm showing y'all you know me doing the ombre differently so the set so the flowers would have looked better you know oh my god y'all please <laughs> Oh my god, I'm telling y'all, I am the worst at explaining things. Alright, y'all, so I'm gonna leave y'all here to it. I'm gonna let y'all watch me, you know, finish doing this nail set. Watch me decorate these nails and all that good stuff. After this, I will be encapsulating and all that. I won't be showing y'all me filing the nails or anything like that because it's the video is already too, too freaking long, y'all. If I do, I'm probably only hand filing the nails or buffing the nails and all that stuff. So right now, I'm just basically decorating the nails and I'm gonna yeah, finish letting y'all watch me, you know, do this nail set. Let me know in the comments down below what y'all think of you because y'all already know. I would love to know y'all thoughts. Which one y'all like better? This flower nail design or the last one? Or y'all like both or whatever. Let me know what y'all think. Okay, so don't forget y'all to like, comment, and subscribe if y'all have not this so, done so yet. I would really, really, really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart if you do so. And I would love to have you here and all that good stuff. You know what I mean? So yeah. So I'll be back later. Okay? <laughs> Bye.
all right y'all as y'all can see that i already started with the 3d flower y'all um i was i didn't record it because i wanted to see how it was going to come out first y'all and i swear when i wasn't recording i did much better without me recording and then i decided i said no let me record the rest of the 3d flower just so they can see how i did it you know what i mean so anyway i also brought out all these bling that you see right here on the table y'all this is a scoop bling that i bought from luze i mean zule y'all is a bling scoop that i bought from zule and i didn't get i didn't even get to use them y'all i what my whole plan was to use some of the bigger ones but i didn't all i did was use some some um flat back ones that i seen in there little you know different size and colors and stuff like that i just use um some of those so i can create the 3d flowers with and yeah and then i also um use um i i didn't even get to use those gold embellishments that you see right there also all i did was use like one or two circle little gold embellishments like you see right there in the middle of this 3d flower so i can place like a rhinestone right in the middle of it and stuff like that yeah and that's about it y'all so basically with this nail i'm gonna finish up do doing 3d flowers on this nail and also on the pinky nail y'all and then with the rest of the nails i'm going to finish decorating it with those um 3d plastic flowers um and some more of those flat back rhinestones that i got in that scoop from zule and yeah and that's about it y'all then i'm gonna go ahead and top coat the nails and all that good stuff and i'll be back but wait a minute y'all before i leave i just want y'all to say I, I just want y'all to know that please stay tuned stick to the end because i want y'all to see how i did the um how i did my recreation from the last nail set that i did um and all that good stuff because y'all already know i would love to know your thoughts so stick to the end y'all so y'all can see the result of that nail um yeah because i did reused um everything that i used to do the last nail set i reused it all over again um so yeah so i basically recreated and i did it the right way okay so stick to the end y'all so y'all can see how that came out y'all please and also um I'm going to add a little something to this nail also. And yeah, so please don't forget. Stick to the end and let me know. Okay, so don't forget, y'all. Please don't forget to like um, this video if you have not done so yet. Please, if you made it this far into the video and you're enjoying these type of videos, smash that like button for me. Comment down below what you think and subscribe for more nail content like this and more nail videos you love to watch. <laughs>
all right y'all so we get into the end of the vi of this video right here i'm just going to um apply shiny top coat onto all the nails cure that for 60 seconds and yeah and that's about it y'all so let me know what you think on this nail set mind you this is supposed to be the recreation of the nail set that i did but it's not really a recreation because i didn't get to use the same exact things but it's basically the same concept but remember stick to the um the next clip after this y'all um it is i am going to recreate only one nail y'all on one finger i'm going to recreate this set that i did right here um re using the same exact products but doing it the right way like i was supposed to do it in the beginning okay so stick to the end so y'all can see how that nail turned out and yeah and y'all let me know what y'all thinking because you know y'all let me know your thoughts what y'all think with this design with this nail set that i just did right here and the recreation from the last nail set that i just recreated okay So this is how they turned out, y'all. I think I they turned out beautiful. I think I love the way they turned out. But you already know. I want to know what you think. Okay? So leave them in the comments down below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please, again, don't forget to like. Please comment what you think. And subscribe for more nail content. Not only that, y'all. I would love to have you here. And I want you here. So please come back again. Don't forget y'all the next clip is me recreating the other set and I also did some more things to this nail right here, okay? So this is the set that I did that I said that I would like to recreate, right? Which I did with this hair, but I actually didn't recreate because, you know, <laughs> I, you know, did it with different, I mean, I didn't use the same exact things that I did to do this design with this design, you know? The same concept, but I didn't use the same exact thing, so it's basically I didn't recreate it. You know what I mean? It's kind of and kind of not. You get what I'm trying to say? But I want to show y'all with one finger, um, recreating this design all over again. You know, I would have did it differently, you know, using the same exact products. So I'm going to show y'all how I would have did it differently using the same exact product I did to do this, you know, nail set. Y'all get what I'm trying to say? I hope so. <laughs> is um the straw used chrome white to do the 3d the glitter to decorate the nails and i used the, these transfer foils this is the only thing i would have did not the only thing because i also said if y'all remember that i said i would have also used like a lighter nude to ombre over the transfer foil so like that you can see the transfer foil peek through you know what i mean because i did use this to ombre over the foil that's why it covered the foils up because this pink is was you know or is too opaque and that's why it covered up the foil so that's another way i would have done it is using a more translucent nude to ombre over the transfer foil, you know? But I'm going to use the same exact things that I used, like I said, and I would have, instead of me using this to ombre over the foil, I'm going to use this to ombre the nail first. Like the nail bed first. I'm going to use this to ombre the nail first. And now I think this is too much. You know just to cover up the nail beds you know what i mean so this is how i would have did it differently to cover up you know the nail bed instead of i'm bringing over the foil because mind you this pink was a little too opaque to be i'm bringing over that foil you know because that foil was really really nice and then i went ahead i went ahead and covered it up you know what i mean so i wanted to give that foil you know a second chance <laughs> Like, so y'all can see how nice the foil looked. Yeah, like, y'all seen how nice that foil looked before I applied this freaking pink on top of it. You know what I mean? I mean, I could have did a better ombre than this, but this is okay. Because I don't want to bring it down too much, neither. Because I want this part to look clear. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Now, that's it for this fucking pink. Okay, so now, what I'm going to do is cut a piece of foil. Now... I'm going to place the trample for you. Oh, 
I'm basically creating like this design, like this one or this one. Cause that's where you know I fucked up on the arm. But even on this one, but I covered it up with the 3D. I had to cover up my finger because I forgot my nail. I had oh my god, y'all! I was eating Trudy Fruities. <laughs> it says my nail bed it is lifted. Chocolate got all up in there. Oh my god, my fucking nail look dirty as shit. And I'm so right here we're going to apply these flowers. Oh. I would have did it like that. Okay. So next what I did was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also applied what, some gold foils, right? I applied. So yeah, yeah, so basically I'm almost done doing this nail. I'm just going to um, apply clear acrylic onto the nail so I, I, so I can add that glitter that I, add, that I added to the nails before. <laughs> I almost forgot to add this glitter onto the nails, y'all, so I'm starting to do that right now. And yeah, and that's about it. And I'm going to cancellate the nails and finish decorating it. And that's it, y'all. So yeah, and so basically that's the only thing I would have done different was the ombre, y'all. I would have reversed the ombre around you know what i mean okay so i hope y'all get and y'all understand what i was trying to say about the worst ombre ever because of the pink um acrylic that i used so like i said i would have reversed the ombre around you know what i mean you know what i mean so yeah so that's the only thing i would have have done different or maybe like i said used a lighter nude so this is how I would have done it differently. <laughs> See, with this one, I put the pink over the transfer foil. So it basically covered up the transfer foil when I did that. This time, this time I ombre the pink on the natural nails. Like, <laughs> like I ombre the pink first and then I applied the transfer foil on top of the ombre. That makes better sense, right? Instead of me ombreing the pink over and on top of the transfer foil because that's how it ended up covering up the transfer foil. You couldn't see it this time. See, cause this one, my me doing that, y'all, it, it turned it into more of a milky bath look. You know what I mean? When I did the ombre over and on top of the foil. Yeah. So, now looking at it, I'm like, yeah, it doesn't look that bad because it looks like a milky bath, you know? But I really wanted the transfer foil to pop through, you know what I mean? Because the show of the design was because of the transfer foil, like the neon, tropical look. So, yeah, so this is how the look was, the, the original, originally how the look was supposed to look in the first place. Like this. <laughs> like this y'all so the chapel foil you can see through and see all that nice neon tropical colors you know peeking through not like this looking like a milky bath you know what i mean but yeah let me know what y'all think how y'all like it y'all like it better like this or y'all like it like this or like this one oh it doesn't matter like bitch they still look the same to me <laughs> you can tell that this one is more clear than this one y'all you can really really tell you know what i mean look like you can really tell that the pink really, you know, covered the transfer foil and made it look like a milky bath look. You know what I mean? See, you can tell with this one, you can actually see the foil, you know? But it's not much of a difference. You know what I mean? Yeah, so let me know what you think, y'all. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Bye.